Traders, welcome to our newest video about the global trends page on TradingView, which is a very effective and visually pleasing page for all of you interested in the global economic sphere and specifically tracking key data points about growth various countries and their economic activity and especially seeing very wonderful and colorful maps like this to get a very quick and high level understanding of the way things are moving now as you'll see here we are on the global trends page at this very moment and if you're interested in getting to the global trends page well you can head to tradingview.com make sure you go to markets and when you get to markets you are going to want to go down and find the economy section and then you will see global trends right here which i'm going to click and now here we are on the global trends page now why would you use this page well you would use this page for a number of reasons and let's talk about that first of all let's say you trade forex well naturally if you're trading forex you probably want to keep an eye on some of these very important metrics so that you understand these economic data points about the countries and their specific forex pairs because ultimately when you are trading forex the, the what you see here are the fundamental numbers behind that forex trading or behind oftentimes the strength and weakness of forex trading but wait there's a lot more as well because let's say you're an equity investor or a crypto investor, or even a futures investor. You can use the Global Trends page to get a feel for what parts of the world are growing quickly, or what's happening in specific parts of the world. Now, as you'll notice here, we have Global Trends selected, and check this out, this says Global Inflation Year Over Year, and we can hover our mouse over these specific countries and get a very quick understanding of the country name, its flag, and and also that little percentage you see, that's its global inflation rate. So literally in a matter of seconds, you can hover your mouse over these specific countries to see what the inflation rate looks like. And you can scan the whole world just like that. And down here, you can even see there's a scale, see our mouse here, and this scale is telling us the different inflation rates depending on the color of the country you see. And as we scroll down, we can then see a list by top G20. We can even go to GDP growth. Now, this is going to be an effective way if you're looking at specific equities, perhaps. What is the GDP growth of the investment you're looking at? If you were looking at an Australian company, it might make sense to align your expectations by hovering your mouse over this Australian map and getting a feel for what the GDP growth is in that country before you go make your specific investment. Maybe you're a growth investor. Well, why don't you come look at the fastest growing GDPs in the G20? There's a list right here before your eyes so that you can see these essentially fast growing countries. Or if you want to see unemployment, which countries have the most unemployment or the least unemployment, which countries are effectively making strides with unemployment? Well, you can see all of that right here in the global unemployment section. So this is the beautiful thing here is that you have all of this on the global trends page. Now we talked about inflation, employment, consumption. It's all right here for you to utilize. Now, it might make sense for you to bookmark this page so that you have a very quick way to access this page at any point in time. Now, a few reminders about this page is that depending on the tabs that you click, whether it's global trends or inflation, you're going to have different visuals that you can utilize. So on the global trends page, you're going to get these wonderful maps, which you can very quickly hover your mouse over and observe in real time time. Now, if you wish to use some of the other trends and tabs available to you, like inflation, you can very quickly hover your mouse over and see the different inflation rates by month in this table here. So this is a table view. So as you can see, you're going to be presented with different visuals depending on the metrics you're looking at. So one way to read this table, for example, is you have the month, February 24, 
the country, and then the inflation rate. And you can move your mouse to see what the inflation rate was over time. Or, for example, you might have a bar chart like this showing you as well the percentage inflation rate change as well. And you can move your mouse as such also. So the key thing here is that you understand that you are able to see different visuals about these specific trends or global trends. And if you want to go deeper, you could look into, for example, the government debt to GDP or interest payments. All of these aspects and key economic data points are available to you on this page. Now, one more way you might want to utilize this page is let's say, for example, you are interested in getting started in the market. So you're a new trader or you're a new investor. One of the first things you could do is come to this homepage and start to get familiar about the global economy. You could ask yourself questions. Is this a good environment to invest in? Well, you could click economic growth and we could come see if this is a good time to invest. Then maybe you could ask yourself which countries have the best economic growth. You could then go look into that to discover which country has the best economic growth. You could even factor in treasury research as well. Should you be thinking about buying treasuries or should you be interested in equities or some other asset? Now, another important thing is that you have different time frames on this page as well, depending on the charts you're looking at. So as you can see here, we have a U.S. Treasury's yield curve inversion. And we can look at that over one year, five year, 10 year or all. And if you scroll down, you'll even get this recession rule indicator. Once again, you can see that over different time frames and see if we are more likely to enter a recessionary environment or not. The point is that this is your home base for these wonderful visuals about all of these very important macroeconomic and economic data points. One more thing, and this is just another great example. Let's say you're interested in real estate and housing and you're looking around the world. Maybe you're a macro investor looking at the real, at real estate markets. You come to this page, you click real estate and housing, and now you've got all of these visuals here right in front of you. You can even track trends like U.S. home building, housing starts and building permits to see, you know, did we just go through a boom? Is it shrinking? Where does it relate to in history? How are U.S. home sales trending? And as a great example, maybe you are looking to buy home sale, uh, U.S. home builder stocks, or you're thinking about buying a home yourself. You've got the data right here and you can hover your mouse over it. And once again, change the time frame. So effectively, to really make sure that we wrap this demonstration up so you have a full understanding of how this tool works, this is the Global Trends page. And you can come here to get a quick look at what is moving. And also keep in mind, if you ever see these little arrows here, you can dive in deeper by clicking these arrows and it will then take you to the page that you're interested in. So on this Global Trends page, you can really get a feel for these specific data points if you want to dive in deeper. You can see here, we're clicking that little arrow here to go in further, and it's gonna take you deeper and deeper. So this is your bird's eye view of the world. You get these beautiful maps just like this, where you can just see GDP growth globally. And depending on what type of investor or trader you are, you could really start your research here. Get a bird's eye view, high level view of everything that's going on, get the big picture. Then once you've decided which country or if the economy is growing, the global economy, maybe you're just looking in a specific market. Well, now that you have this specific data, you can then of course use that to zoom in a little bit further, which might then take you to our super charts which we've got plenty of tutorials on. Or perhaps you're gonna to wanna to go to that country and then start screening for specific assets. All of these tools are there for you and you can utilize this in any way you wish. But the key point here is that you know, as a TradingView member, you have access to the Global Trends page. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. We will be sharing more walkthroughs and new updates as they come in. Go ahead, get started with this page. There's a link in our description. Thanks for watching. We also hope, hope that you learned something new. And always remember, if you have any specific questions or comments about any of these tools on TradingView, head to our help center and read about them or watch one of these several hundred videos on our YouTube channel. Be sure you're subscribed and thanks so much for watching.